Hi everybody. If you stick around to the end of this episode, I've got a pretty cool announcement for you guys. Hello everybody. So as you just saw, I got my first delivery of firewood for the coming winter. I'm sorry I didn't film it that well. Uh, he was here earlier than expected. So I just had to set up the camera as fast as I could. But uh, this is 10 cubes of firewood. I don't think it's gonna be enough for the coming winter, but uh, it's a start. This is around 750 euros of firewood. And, uh, yeah, it's still wet. These trees have just been cut and uh, processed. So can't burn this yet. Uh, by the time winter comes around, it should have dried up enough for it to use. I uh, need another uh, 10 cubes of firewood, I think, for the coming winter. Because this winter I won't be able to stay at Frida's place to save on cost. Uh, because Frida's coming to live here. So this time we actually need to warm the house with just firewood. And uh, that's why I need this much. I have asked him to give me another load of 10 cubes. I just need to, you know, go to work and work some extra hours to afford it. <laughs> so yeah, anyway. I'm happy with the first load at least, that's going to give, keep me warm for a good part of the winter. Now I just need to stack it neatly. That's going to be a quite a lot of work to make it all stacked like that. I'll, and I don't even have a new storage to stack it in. So much work! Now I can of course let this firewood lay on the floor like this. Uh, which according to the guy that delivered it to me, it should be fine. Uh, lots of people just let it dry like this over the summer and then start using it in the winter. But I don't want to do that because the pieces of wood that are actually on the grass might start rotting and won't dry properly. So I'm gonna start stacking it on top of these pallets so that there's a layer of air underneath them. But before I start doing that, let me show you something. I've got this solar panel up here with the battery behind it charging. Sadly, there is a cloud in front of the sun at the moment, which means I'm only getting six watts of energy in right now. But earlier when I didn't have a cloud in front of it, it was giving me 84 watts of energy. And that's, that's quite nice. Um, yesterday, all day, my computer was running on this battery. And that is real cool. <laughs> I like that. Uh, makes me very happy to actually use some solar energy put into a battery to run my computer to edit these vlogs on. And uh, I even played some video games. I am seeing how much energy I can get out of the sun today and maybe run my computer another day on solar energy. Um, yeah, I enjoy using free energy like that. So this is going to be standing in my garden until, uh, you know, the sun goes down or the battery is full. And, uh, I hope I get to use a lot of free energy that way. Ah, here the sun comes. Let's look at the power now. So the sun is mostly back, still a little bit behind some clouds, which means now we get around 58, 57, 58 watts of power in. So these solar panels together, those two, uh, should give around 100 watts. That's what they're capable of. But of course, since there is trees and uh, clouds in the way, it gives a little bit less, but still. But I think my computer uses less than 50 watts of power when I'm actually using the battery, which means I can both charge and use it at the same time if I really wanted to, which is, I think, pretty impressive. All right, enough drooling over this solar panel and battery setup. <laughs> I got this from my mom a while ago. 
Thank you, Mom. Um, it's time to start stacking some firewood. Uh, it's 10 cubes of firewood. I won't be stacking all of it today, but I want to stack at least one of those 10 cubes. See if I have enough energy to do that, because it's a lot of bending over with your back, and I don't want to hurt my back. But enough talking, let's get to work and start stacking some firewood. There we go, got one pallet filled. As you can see, I've been listening to music while doing it. I just don't see a difference. <laughs> oh yeah, you can't see a difference in what I've did in the pile, but one of the pallets is filled. This is gonna be so much work. <laughs> anyway, better get used to it because this is something that I'm gonna have to do every year. I think that's enough for one day. Tomorrow, I might fill the other one. Okay, like I promised, time for a cool announcement in this video. So by the time you're watching this, me and Li Hao are now in Litauen, if everything goes to plan. We left on the 10th of May and uh, we took the boat over and we are spending some time in Litauen for Frida's work. And of course, of course, I'm gonna be vlogging all of this. I don't know what date yet, but you're gonna see a awesome trip to Litawa with me and Frida. But in the meantime, of course, the normal vlogs will resume. I've worked hard to make vlogs up front, so there won't be a break in the vlogs like it was during the summer. So stick around, subscribe if you don't wanna miss that, and see you all then. Bye. Please like and subscribe. And if you want to support us or just want something that Li Hao has made, you can buy this little notebook, Look for Stars. The links are in the description, all on Amazon, and you can buy them. See, you can make some beautiful notes in there. The video that just popped up, that one is, according to YouTube, something you will like. So try looking at that one. See you all later. Bye.